Uh, okay, Yuri, hand me the sugar. What's the magic word? Mm, please? What? Where's the rest? Uh, that's all we have. Hello, what are you baking, Yuri and Ruthenium? Oh, hi, Xenon. Our parents are out for the night, and they left us some money for dinner, so we decided to buy cookie ingredients. I was trying to bake cookies, but my stupid brother here didn't pick up sugar at the store. Ruth, that's not nice. You don't have to call Yuri names. Yeah, we all make mistakes. Mm, okay, fine. My less than optimal intelligence brother here can't follow a simple shopping list. Ruth, it's not that big a deal. Just cut the recipe proportionally and make a smaller batch of cookies. Say what? You just need to use a little stoichiometric math to assure you cut your other ingredients by the same ratio, and then your cookies will be fine. Let me see your recipe. Ah, shortbread cookies. Well, it looks like you have excess amount of butter and flour, which means your limiting reactant is sugar. The recipe calls for two sticks of butter, or 227 grams, 250 grams of flour, and 184 grams of glucose sugar. It looks like Yuri only has, hmm, I'll guess roughly 90 grams of sugar, or about half of what you need. So if we just cut the other ingredients in half... Bingo, Yuri. Smart move. Um, I think we've already determined he's not smart. Or we could just make more sugar. Uh, now you're really sounding LTOI. What's, What's that? that? Less than optimally intelligent. Duh. Now I'm starting to think you're both LTOI. <sighs> Ruth. Actually, Yuri, that's a brilliant idea. Let's see if the recipe book includes the chemical formula for sugar. Okay, here we are. It looks like all we need are six moles of carbon dioxide or CO2. Moles? Ooh, like those things growing on great grandma's face? No, no. In chemical formulas, moles are atomic portions equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd power particles of a substance. Anyhow, we'll mix a ratio of 6 moles or portions of carbon dioxide with 6 moles of water, and that will yield 1 mole of sugar with some oxygen left over. Yeah, we don't need any oxygen in these cookies. Well, they do need to bake in the presence of oxygen. Mom usually keeps some carbon dioxide in here somewhere. It doesn't look like we have any left. Oh, sure we do. Carbon dioxide is an invisible gas. Okay, this jar contains 176 grams of CO2. So... 176 grams of CO2 times 1 mole of CO2 per 44 grams of CO2 equals 4 moles of CO2. Alrighty, as long as your parents have paid the water bill, we'll have plenty of water, our excess reactant, but only 4 moles of our limiting reactant to CO2, because we need a ratio of 6 moles of CO2 for every 1 mole of glucose sugar. So this means we can only create 4 six of a mole of sugar. Glucose is about 180 grams per mole. Stoichiometrically, that means 4 moles of CO2 times 1 mole of C6H12O6 per 6 moles of CO2 times 180 grams of C6H12O6 per 1 mole of C6H12O6. Of course, we cross-cancel our units diagonally, and then we multiply across... 4 times 180 equals 720, and we divide that by 6, so that equals 120 grams of C6H12O6 glucose sugar. 
Presuming Yuri has about 90 grams of sugar on his spoon there. 90 plus 120 equals 210 grams of glucose sugar. But your recipe only calls for 184 grams of sugar, so... Oh, that's more than enough to make a full batch of cookies. I was just going to say that. No, you weren't, because you're a little LTOI. Yuri... Two wrongs don't make a right. Anyhow, Ruth, that's stoichiometry. It's the math that explains ratios and chemical formulas. And cookie recipes. Oh, wait, Xenon. How do you know how many moles and grams and all that? Well, I have molar masses from the periodic table more or less memorized, but that's a topic for a future video. Video? What do you mean? Oh, you two didn't know? Your parents have a nanny cam in that teddy bear over there. What? My parents record my every move when they're out? Oh, no. Yeah, Ruth. They know when you've been naughty and saying mean things to your brother. And Yuri, they know when you've been nice. <laughs>